you honestly never have to use powder eyeshadows again. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys already know, my channel is all about beauty. So today it's all about cream eyeshadow. Now I feel like this is something that is so underrated. I feel like a lot of people don't actually use it because they find it intimidating or they just don't know how to use it properly. So I've decided to show you today the easiest way to use cream eyeshadow. Honestly, it's super easy and I think you guys are gonna be pros by the end of this video. Now, before we move any further, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it and it helps me out with the algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell button so that you never miss any of my videos. You can also follow me on Instagram where you can follow me for daily beauty news and PR unboxing, which you'll find on my stories. Now let's get straight into the video. When it comes to cream eyeshadows, you need to find the one that works for you. Not only when it comes to color, but also with the texture. Now, although we're talking about cream eyeshadows and you think all of them are the same, they're really not. Most of them are very similar, but you'll get the odd brand here and there where either the pigment doesn't, it kind of like diminishes as you start blending, or it's just not fluid enough. It's just like kind of very stiff and it doesn't blend very easily. So I'm gonna go with my personal favorite when it comes to cream eyeshadows. I'm using the Tom Ford Cream Eyeshadow in Naked Bronze. This particular shade is my favorite. When it comes to doing bronze eyes, I love using cream eyeshadows because they're so easy to use. Now, I don't know why, I don't know why more people don't use cream eyeshadows. They're so easy, so I'm about to show you how. Now, with this particular Tom Ford uh, product, it actually has a cream eyeshadow at the bottom so it opens up like this and then you've got the top which opens up and it's almost like a it's almost like a glitter powder it's like kind of quite chunky but it goes on the cream eyeshadow really well there are different blending techniques you can either use a sponge or you can use your finger i like using both but i'm going to show you how i apply it to my lid first it is so easy, you really don't need to be worried about your application process that much. I've got a little bit of the cream eyeshadow on the back of my hand and I'm going in with my small finger. You can use, it really just depends on how big your fingers are. I, I'm gonna go in with my small finger and I'm literally just applying it on the lid. So what I'm gonna do is just go in with this cream eyeshadow and apply it all over my lid. Honestly, it's so easy. I'm not really taking it outside the lid, I'm just keeping it within the lid. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Now, if you have short nails, this is gonna be even more easier for you because I have long nails, so I know right now my hand looks like a claw. <laughs> it looks really weird, but I'm just trying to get it on the lid. It looks really messy, but it's fine. This is what the whole point is. The whole point is that it's super easy to apply and you don't need to worry about which you know which area you're applying it as long as you apply it within the lid that's fine you don't need to get so complicated with it so now i've got a brush and i've put some of the cream eyeshadow on the brush and i'm just now going to kind of go all over the lid basically just neaten up what i've just done still kind of messy but i'm fine with that because i want like a smoky eye bronze smoky eye it's my favorite type of look now I'm gonna go in with another brush and I'm literally just, this has got nothing on the brush other than some, it's just an old eyeshadow which isn't really on there. Now I'm just going into the socket. So all I'm doing is just blending those. I'm not even being really that specific about it. I'm just kind of dragging it out wherever I wanna drag it. And the nice thing about cream eyeshadow is that you don't get that fallout. So it just kind of stays where it is and it's really easy to blend. You don't get, like patchiness like you do with cre uh, with powder eyeshadow. You can see I'm just dragging it out here. I'm gonna do the same on this side now. This is what I love about cream eyeshadow as well, is that you can apply it on the lower lash line really easily. Sometimes with, with powder eyeshadows, it just ruins the lower lash line. Here, it just blends really easily. Like you don't have these harsh lines. See, I've already literally just applied it there. You don't need to do anything else. You're applying and blending all at the same time for the lower lash line. 
it's just so easy to create a smoky eye with the cream eyeshadow. It is literally as easy as that. I've applied my cream eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with some mascara now. I'm using the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras for just easy lashes that are like kind of thick and long, but not, they don't look horrible, like, you know, like clumpy. So I'm just applying this through my lashes. And then I'm gonna show you a trick that you can use with cream eyeshadow, which works really well. Now there's a quick trick I wanna show you with cream eyeshadow. Because the texture of cream eyeshadow is so tacky, you can kind of overla overlay a really nice shimmery eyeshadow, like a powder shimmery eyeshadow on top, like just in the center for that kind of spotlight look, which works really well because basically what happens is because of the tacky finish of the cream eyeshadow, when you overlay it with that kind of glittery shimmer shade, it enhances, like it amplifies that shimmer even more, which I'm gonna show you now. So I'm gonna go for like a really nice, bronzy gold. I'm going to use a shade from the Pat McGrath Bronze Ambition palette. I'm going to use the shade Gold Rush, which is a really nice kind of, it looks like just a really nice gold. So I'm going to use a, what shall I use? I will use like this type of brush. This is the Sephora Pro Shader in 18. And I'm just going to apply this. It's like a, it's a really nice gold look. It's this shade here. So what I'm doing is applying a bit to the brush and then I'm just gonna apply that in the center of my eyelid here and it sticks really well. And look, that is the smallest amount. I am showing you how you can create a spotlight eye as well. So literally just, it just sticks so well right in the middle like that and it just adds that extra kind of I don't know what word I'm looking for. Extra, you know what, like, it makes it extra. That was really weird, what just happened. <laughs> so yeah, it makes it extra. That doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make it extra. It just gives it that nice, you know, that. So, okay, I really like that. I'm probably gonna apply a little bit of that to my inner corners. love bronzy got oh look that is so nice okay now we're gonna apply a little bit just here i really love taking it along the lower lash line on the inner part and this is more or less it it is super easy so if you've never used cream eyeshadow i really hope this video has made you want to try it and if you've tried and failed, then I hope this has improved your application technique and made everything so much easier for you. I'm actually really excited for those of you who have never tried it or are trying it again after failing so many times because I really want to know how this has worked for you. So let me know in the comments section below. Now, as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss a video. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.